we have Bradley investing eleven thousand two hundred in two different accounts. First one paid five percent, the second paid four percent in interest. And at the end of the first year he had five hundred and seven dollars in interest. So we'll make a table here. Usually four by four is good. Um, we have the five percent account and we have the four percent account. So I is equal to PRT, so I'm going to write it backwards. I'm going to write P times R is equal to I. And we won't worry about the, the T because it's just one year. One times anything is just itself. We know that he put a total of 11200 into um, both of the counts. Um, but uh, we don't know how much went into each one. So if we just say that you know, he put X in the 5% account, then the 4% account would have gotten 11,200, let me fix that, minus X. Because whatever he put in one account, we'd have to subtract that from the total to get how much went into the second account. For example, if he put just $200 in the 5% account, then he would have put 11,000 in the other account. So the rate, uh, we want to convert to a decimal, so that'd be 0 0.05 and 0 0.04. And then interest, I just multiply those two. Multiply those two columns together. And after we do that, uh, we almost have our equation. We need to put the total interest. The total interest was 507. So we're going to use this last column to make our equation. So our equation goes like this, 0.05x plus 0.04 times 11,200 minus x is equal to 507. So we have 0.05x and then 0.04 times 11,200 is 448. And then minus 0.04x equals 507. Combining my x's, I get 0.01x plus the 448 equals 507. And I could subtract 448 from 507, which is 59. So I have 0.01x equals 59. And divide that by 0.01, and we get 5900. So he put 5,900 into one account, and then the other one would be 11,200 minus 5,900, which is equal to 5,300. So in the 5% account, he put 5,900. In the 4% account, he put 5,400. Oh, my bad, my bad, 5,300.